and welcome to South Coast Private. My name is Susie and I'd just like to have a little chat with you about what to expect in the first couple of days of admission. The admission on ground floor can take up to an hour, sometimes a little bit more, sometimes a little bit less. But once that's completed, then you'll go upstairs with one of the nurses to your level. And there you will undergo a nursing admission. The nursing admission can take up to an hour as well. And during that admission, the nurse is going to ask you a lot of your medical history, information from you that makes it easy for them to understand. As part of that nursing admission, they will undergo a bag search. They'll go through that bag and they will take your medications away and that will go to the medication safe at the nurse station. They will also take your cords and your sharps. They will be released back to you after you've seen your psychiatrist. And in the meantime, if you need to use those cords to charge any of your devices, you can do that at the nurse station. Your sharps, on the other hand, are a use and return. So they're always held at the nurse station. So after you've finished the nursing admission, just please ask the nurse to take you for an orientation around the hospital. Because as it's your first time, it's good to know where everything is. One of the most important things to do or to take away is the daily schedule. And the daily schedule is at the nurse's station every afternoon or very early in the morning. So if you get that, that'll tell you what is on at the hospital and when it's on and where it's on. And that's very important for you to start to plan your day. In our hospital, we have three levels where our patients have their rooms. Our fourth floor is for our first responders and our second and third floor are for all our other patients. Your swipe. I haven't got mine on me today, but your swipe is what gets you into the lift and gets you easy access to both level two and level three. Because the facilities on level two and three are available to all. That swipe will also get you to your room. So on level two, we have pathology, the laundry. Each level has access to that laundry two days a week. So washing machine, dryer and soap powder. It also has the smoker's room for those that need that quick fix of nicotine. And it's just a quick fix and then out of there again. And as well, we have a really beautiful outside courtyard because Every admission, there is time in the hospital without leave. So to get out to that courtyard in a beautiful sunny day and take advantage of that fresh air while you can't get leave is a really great idea. So we move up the level and we look at level three. So level three has a large common area and it's quite a social place. So quite often you will have the jigsaw puzzles being played by a number of people. I'll pick up a handful of pieces and they'll use those, play those jigsaw. So quite often a number of patients will sit around a puzzle and they'll interact while they're placing pieces in the puzzle. We also have libraries on level two and level three, book libraries that you can help yourself to and return when you, before you leave. So level four patients or our first responder patients might sometimes be admitted into the hospital and they might have a room on either two or three. So those patients will have access to level four immediately. So moving down to the common areas of the hospital. On level one, we have our doctor's suites. So our doctors are managed by the Wollongong Clinic and you will usually get a text 
from the Wollongong Clinic. And if you don't, don't get a text, you'll get a phone call. And that will let you know when you're seeing the doctor and which doctor you're going to be seeing. And you will get a text or a phone call each day for that appointment. Just adjacent to those to the Wollongong Clinic is other group rooms. So groups for most patients will start on a, on a Thursday. So group sessions are Monday, Tuesday, Thursday and Friday. And those group sessions are compulsory. We have lots of other talks that you can attend on a Wednesday and on a weekend. They're rec highly recommended. Wednesday you'll have a talk by the dietitian and the exercise physiologist all about healthy living and healthy lifestyles. On a weekend we get a walking group, we get a juggling group, how to learn how to juggle. It's mindfulness. With the first part of the group you will stuff the balls. Second, you'll start to learn the patterns. And while you're practicing the mindfulness, you are also interacting with other patients. And there's a lot of fun and laughter at the same time. Then Sunday, we have a talk where our dining room prepares fresh meals for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. They also provide morning tea and afternoon tea. So if you have any dietary requirements, you would have completed that form on admission. And you may like to speak with the kitchen or the sous chef or the head chef, and they will be on level three on the day after admission. And you can reaffirm the, your dietary requirements. Our menus change seasonally, and those menus are created by our head chef. And then they are approved by the dietitian. So we serve lovely, healthy food. Now the next most important thing with the dining room is how you're going to get fed. You're actually going to walk into the dining room, take a seat at one of the tables, and a server will come up to you and take your order. There's no need to stand back and wait. Just move straight in and take that seat. Okay, there goes level one. So if we go down the stairs or down the lift, you're back in our ground floor where you came in for admission. Now on the ground floor, we also have the gym. The gym is on the right hand side of the lift. Our art room is on the left side of the lift. In order to use the gym, you need clearance initially from your GP approval from your psychiatrist and then you can talk to the exercise physiologist. If you already have an exercise routine you'll just need to sign the waiver with the exercise physiologist and you'll be able to use your program. If you don't have an exercise program I'm sure our exercise physiologist will only be too happy to create one with you and work with you on that. The gym is open for lengthy hours if it's a closed group, the door will be shut and then you'll be, it'll be notified when it's then reopening. Now, also on the ground floor is our art room. So our art room usually will have an art therapist or an art volunteer there most times, especially during our working hours during the day. The art room is a very special place in our hospital and patients might come in and just sit. Sometimes they'll doodle or do the mindfulness colouring in. And then when they're ready, the art therapist or volunteer will help them with the art media, help them start to do small pieces of art. And when they're ready, they'll start to create a little bit more. But it's a very, very special place and do encourage you to spend time there. At South Coast Private, we're very fortunate to have some wonderful volunteers. One of our volunteers 
Carol, sometimes comes in and helps with big admission days and she'll be there welcoming the patients, offering a cup of tea or coffee and something to eat. But one of the other special things that Carol does is that on a Thursday, she brings her sewing machine in to the art room and she will teach patients how to sew. Just simple things, but it's just a glimpse of what can happen when you start to use a sewing machine. So please look out for our volunteers. They, we do have a number of them in the art room and they're only too willing and too happy to help you. Mark, our maintenance man, will quite often teach our patients how to play a ukulele. Maybe you've got your own musical instrument and you've brought that into the hospital. If you can already play music, play a musical instrument, if you can sing, make sure you let the nurses know to tell Mark because he'll only be too happy to see you. But if you'd like to learn, again, let the nurses know so they can tell Mark that you're interested in learning the ukulele and he'll fit that in as well. Mark will quite often bring together a pop-up music session, especially where he knows that he's got people that already can play music, that people can sing, and quite often there's pop-up music that can happen at different times in the hospital. You need to watch out for that. So the nurses will take you for your orientation as well. And as you walk through the hospital with one of those nurses, you'll be able to say, oh, Susie told me about that. Susie told me about this place too. So you will start to remember it all. And I will pop in and say hello to you in the morning. And if I don't manage to be there, one of my colleagues will be as well. And we'll just make sure that you've settled well in the hospital. But your nurses are there for you 24 seven. And if you need assistance at any time, your nurse is your first point of call. Thank you. And we at South Coast Private hope that by the end of admission, it's been a successful stay and that you're leaving our hospital happier, motivated and ready to move on with the path ahead.